Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Game of Trades and today I'm going to go three stocks to swing trade this week. Uh, these are all stocks that I think uh, will give some uh, double digit um, returns within the next uh, few days uh, or weeks uh, if we see a buy signal on them. For now they are just trade setups. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and uh, let's get right into it. Uh, this is a daily chart of uh, Turtle Beach uh, Corporation, uh, ticker symbol uh, here, H-E-A-R. And you can see we have a beautiful uh, falling wedge, uh, which is a bullish uh, chart pattern. Uh, you see uh, price contract contraction uh, within the wedge, um, and that's typically what happens uh, when the momentum starts to uh, wane down uh, to one side and start to shift to another. And uh, it is typically accompanied with a divergence on the MACD, which is exactly what we have here. Uh, we have nice, beautiful uh, divergence here, um, which signals a potential trend change. Uh, you can see um, this is a very a long lasting wedge uh, that's been uh, building up for a while and usually when you get a uh, huge price contraction like this where you see barely any movement in the price you tend to have a nice big pop uh, once it breaks the, the upper trend line and the measured target is the widest part of the wedge which is right here and you just put that right there and that would give you a nice little target which perfectly coincides with some nice resistance level. So that would be our final target for the uh, Turtle Beach uh, Corporation. Um, you know, I can give you guys some uh, other targets along the way. A T1 first target would be right here. Uh, and from the break of trend line, that would be a 50% uh, rise in price and then a almost 100% rise in price for the second target. So these are two uh, very nice potential profits. Um, obviously these are all potential uh, trades and will uh, be triggered on a break of this trend line. So do not uh, start buying Turtle Beach Corp just right now. This uh, trend line could really ex be extended uh, for a very very long time and you know it could look something like this and you know if you start investing now and the wedge ends up being like this you know you'll be in the middle of 2019 with a still uh, no profit so wait for the um, uh, break of trend line I, I think it's gonna come very soon uh, seeing this uh, how this divergence is and the RSI looks very nice right now. Uh, you can see we were uh, oversold on the daily chart here, right here. And we're just printing a second oversold level with some nice divergence on the RSI that could uh, spark a nice uh, little rally in the coming days or weeks. So that's the first one. Uh, the next one is IQ. By the way, I'm saving the best for last. So uh, make sure to stick uh, till the end of the video. This is a um, ticker symbol IQ. This is a Chinese uh, car manufacturer. It's the equivalent of Tesla but in China. Uh, it's been uh, beaten down uh, for the past few weeks now. Um, but again, we have this nice little uh, price channel going on uh, with some uh, divergence on the hourly chart. Uh, you can see this is actually an hourly chart, so, you know, this uh, wedge will probably play out in the coming days. You know, I give it tops uh, maybe a week, maybe a week and a half before uh, this pops up. And uh, let's measure the target. I'm going to give you guys some uh, nice little targets here from the break of shine line. Let's say it breaks over there. You know, that would be a very nice target all the way up here. Um, and that does coincide with a nice uh, 
resistance level. Uh, and what I like to do with targets is obviously uh, just um, be just shy of the resistance level because it's very difficult to uh, pinpoint, you know, sell the stock right on the resistance level. It usually, you know, it sometimes only stays there for a couple hours, if not a couple minutes. Um, so that would be the second target. The 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 first target, uh, twenty five, and uh, we'll see how the stock goes up. But this would be a nice second target here. I mean, a first target at twenty four, and then a second one at twenty five. And from the break of trend line, that would be a nice. 15% profit all the way up. Uh, so, so far, 100% uh, profit on Turtle Beach Corp and 15% profit on IQ. Uh, you know, consider that this is an hourly chart, so this is going to play out a lot faster. So, it's it only makes sense that it's, uh, you know, a smaller gain compared to, uh, to the other one. You know, when I make a um, swing trade on the daily chart, I'm gonna to want to have uh, a nice big profit that I can, you know, hold the stock onto for a, a couple weeks, if not a couple months, uh, to make myself, you know, perhaps a hundred percent profit on the stock. Um, so um, next one, that that's about it for uh, IQ. So let's move on to the last one, which is uh, the natural uh, National uh, Beverage Corporation. Uh, take a symbol F I Z Z Fizz. Uh, so again, same story, but here uh, a little bit different. Uh, we have a wedge, a, a bullish falling wedge. So again, uh, sign of a nice little reversal, uh, but it's a lot steeper than the other ones, um, which means uh, one thing that the uh, snapback rally will be uh, steeper. Um, well, that's what tends to happen with steep wedges. When they break, you get a nice impulsive move uh, for a bullish falling wedge, a nice little move up. And you can see the target, my, my you know, the obvious first target here would be this uh, resistance level. That would be uh, perfect um, to aim for. Under that, I don't really see much uh, resistance, so that would probably snap up all the way there uh, straight away. And um, from the break of trend line, that would be a nice 52% profit. Uh, so again, a very nice trade. This is on the daily chart, so it would uh, take a couple weeks to, um, to plan out and to play out. Uh, again, here we have the same thing, the nice little divergence on the MACD, which uh, shows a potential trend change, considering this is a bearish um, trend. When you see divergence, you know, the entire way down, you didn't have divergence here, uh, but here you do. Uh, so that shows that the, you know, the downtrend has gone too far and that we need a correction to the upside. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys on the RSI for this one is that not only is it coming off overbought, I mean oversold on the uh, daily chart, but on the weekly chart, this is what it looks like. Um, and we are clearly in oversold territory uh, and approaching, and we are at support right here. We, we kiss support at 52. So the, even the weekly chart looks great. You know, here we kiss this support level. Um, you know, there's maybe a little bit downside left, but I think this is going to play out very, very soon. Uh, so make sure to watch these stocks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, in the meantime, good luck and uh, see you next time.